Okay, well, we've been talking about this account of you know, this, what counts as sufficient evidence according to Clifford. And something that we you already know, looked at here, we thought that, well, okay, so these beliefs, uh, you know, th these uh, conditions for sufficient evidence, the, com the uniform unity nature, the common human experience, these work really well for the physical sciences and for mathematics. They don't work well for ethical theory, for any religious issues, for political issues, for metaphysics, for epistemology. Um, it doesn't work for a lot of other sorts of fields. Right? There's wide, wide disagreement in a lot of these different fields. Okay, even sometimes about basic issues. All right. Well, um, you know, maybe so much the worse for these other fields, right? Clifford's account works really well for mathematics and science. Maybe those are really the only justified beliefs that we have. Huh? You know, uh, you know, the mathematics and science are kind of the hallmark of what it means to have a good theory. Okay, well... So that's the question I give, I give to you then. These conditions work really well for mathematics and science. All these other fields have these, you know, this wide disagreement here. Well, then maybe all the other fields are just bumpkiss. So here, here's the question. Are, are the beliefs in mathematics and science, are these either the only justified beliefs you have or the most justified beliefs you have? So, you know, when you have the beliefs in mathematics, are these the ones that are the standard? Are they the best justified beliefs that you have? Thank you.